Kids out early for several days during the next school year in Williamson County is making some parents unhappy. WSMV's Tosin Fakili has details on the district's decision and the cost of that decision to parents. One mom told me early release was not something she thought was on the radar for elementary school kids. And she says now kids getting out two hours early will create a logistic issue for her family. It kind of caught me by surprise. Courtney Tate will have two kids in elementary school next year, and that's how she felt about the news that her two kids will be out of school about two hours early, 11 days out of the next school year. And surprised on a, a couple of fronts. One, it wasn't the headline of the email that was sent out, so you had to read a little bit to get to that. Well, the big deal is my job doesn't get out early on those 11 days. Um, so just figuring out the logistics of picking up the kids at an earlier release time, where are they going to stay? Who's going to keep them? The school district says the reason behind the new move is for teachers to better help students. Looking at um, what state standards students are or are not meeting, they can break down in the, the assessment information for each child, work together to make sure that we're really growing students. To help parents out who can't pick up their kids early, the school district says kids can stay and be supervised, then dismissed at regular time. It just did the cost. And Tate says early dismissal is just one concern for the next school year. The other, not enough staff for Williamson County Schools' school age child care program. If kids are getting out at, let's say, even four, um, you need two ish hours a day. I mean, you could be looking at $50 a day, $250 a week. SACC is a program offered by the school district, but parents pay for. Anyone in the service industry is well aware of staffing shortages, and we are experiencing those. With SAC, you're able to know school ends at 345, my kids are going to SAC, they're there till 6 o'clock. Now it's going to be a kind of day to day. What if the sitter can't come? What if a meeting pops up on my calendar that I can't miss? Bear with us. We hope that we can get staff in place to make sure that every child can participate in the SAC service. Williamson County Schools tells me they do have a few openings in the school district, but they are working to fill those positions, and that includes increasing pay for school staff, and that's something that the county commission is expected to approve next week. In Franklin, I'm Tosin Fakile for WSMV4.